What's quickest in a drag race, a BMW M240i or a BMW M2? We're gonna find out, because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this M240i, which has been kindly lent to me by Auto ID. So thanks to those guys for lending us this car. So it has a three litre turbocharged six cylinder engine that puts out 374 horsepower and 500 Newton meters of torque. The car weighs in 1,690 kilograms and it costs 49,000 pounds. Now let's find out about the M2 from racing driver Sam. Hey Sam, give us the stats on your BMW. It is a three litre twin turbo inline six, 460 horsepower, 550 newton meters of torque. It's obviously rear wheel drive. It's got the eight speed torque converter gearbox type thing, and it weighs 1,725 kilograms, which is heavy. And it's about 64,800, it's a lot of money. It's actually heavier than this four wheel drive two series. Bizarre. And it's about 15 grand more. And we're gonna see how that plays out in terms of the performance because i've got a feeling that this might beat it off the line but i think you're going to come past me if you can beat me off the line with just rear wheel drive that's going to be incredible right now before we race if you're thinking about getting a new car you probably need to sell your current car and you can do that really easily through car wow all you have to do is upload some photos of your car give a brief description then dealers all across the country will bid on it just pick the highest offer they'll come to your house take the car away put the money into your account it's easy. Right, let's race. But before we do, car wash sound check. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's have a listen to your M2. They're quite similar, aren't they? This sounds a little bit road car -y, doesn't it? It didn't really have that excitement to it. That sounded a bit more fruity to my ear. I'm not going to tell Sam, but this has actually got an upgraded exhaust on it. It's not going to improve the power that much to it being significant, but yeah, it's a Miltec exhaust system. It's also got an Eventuri air intake as well. Okay, let's do it. So off the line first, this really shot off. Come on. Ooh. Can he reel it back in though? Here he comes now. Ooh. Here he comes. Here he comes. I actually thought you were going to come past me. A bit more room you would have done. And I think if you've got a better launch, it's going to be closer, isn't it? It just didn't spin any wheels at all. It just kind of rolled forward. There was no aggressive uh, launch out of it. I think maybe one more go, but it was definitely pulling you back really fast. Now I know what you're going to have to do with your car. You're going to have to drive down the runway and back again, put some miles into it just to let the, um, the system cool down because it won't let you launch again straight away. See if mine will. Try it now, see if you can engage launch straight away. I can. No. I don't know why this car can and yours can't. It's the same gearbox, surely. It's just bizarre. Two hours later. Three, two, one. Oh, he got a better launch than me. Woo, there it is. He's gonna take me here. Bye, Matt. Oh, no. Bye, Matt. I've got to say, your timing off the line was better than mine, and as a result, you won. It wheel spun a little bit more, which gave me a much better launch. There's the words. Words. I also think that my timing was a little bit behind yours. I think you did a better job. One each, though. Time for the decider. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> see if mine will activate straight away. Yep. <laughs> okay, for this, I've got to be super competitive. I've really got to nail this launch. As Soon as his hands start to drop, 
I need to time it so I'm leaving at the exact same point. It's because I know Sam will be doing that exact same thing. I did it. Oh, it bogged. No, come on. Now, can he claw it back? That is my best launch yet. It's coming now. It's coming. Here he is. Not enough. Wow! That was a different launch to the first one and the second one, so I wish it would make up its mind. It just needs to drop the clutch a little bit harder and allow some kind of wheel spin. It's obsessed with not spinning the wheels, but with that, we just get this boggy launch. I think you'll find, Samuel, that there is no clutch in that car. It has a torque converter gearbox. Yes, I'm quite an interesting person. Ugh, whatever happens to allow the engine to put the power to the spinny wheel things, then that's not doing that better, or it's not doing that good enough. Okay, right, so this did win two out of three, and that time that I just got was banging. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour, cars with a sporty aesthetic, third gear roll on, first of the half mile wins. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Ooh, goodbye. Oh, it's just walking away from me. Look at that. Clear win there, Sam, very easy. I mean, the pickup was pretty much identical, but then your car just pulled. Yeah, I was actually shocked at how well that car did pick up in relation to this, but then, yeah, this just has some legs on it, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd like to run that again. I don't think I was pressing the accelerator quite as hard as I could. Funny that, isn't it? Okay, why don't we go again? Yeah, I need to press the accelerator harder. That'll help. Okay, Sam, we're going to do another rolling race, but my car's got a problem. I think it's got one of those ghost immobilizers on it and I don't know how to turn it off. So can the guy from Auto ID come here, please, to help me? Hello, yeah. mate. Hello, hello, hello. Come in here, listen. Um, um, I know you fitted this car with a like a piggyback ECU. Yeah, JB4. Okay, a right. Tuning box. Okay, it's got a tuning box on it as well as the other mods. Yeah. Now, those are the mods that really make that much difference to the power, but this tuning box does. Yes. And I, we just had it turned off, didn't we? That was completely off, yeah. So totally stock. Can you turn it on now yes okay this will sit it once it connects yeah to about 460 brake so we have 460 brake which is exactly the same as that m2 should be interesting and what's the torque figure then looking at about 600 newton meters so 50 newton meters more than the m2 it's all live now it's all live it's all just live. that all done yeah, there all we go it's all done so how much is that tuning box about 600 quid so, wow okay 600 quid yeah okay let's see what that does now Good luck. here we go 50 miles an hour three two one go I didn't seem to push it hard enough. No. If anything, I think I beat you by a little bit more that time. Hmm, that's odd. Can we just try it again? I don't see the point, but yeah, why not? Can we get the chat from Auto ID again? Apparently we need to turn it off and on again. Sorry, Sam, this immobilizer's really playing up. So the thing you've got in there to stop it being stolen is stopping you driving it, is that what you're telling me? Yes, they're, they're great. I love ghosts. Do you really want to go again? Yeah, you know, I think I do, mainly because I didn't win, so let's try again. So, here we go, from 50, here we are. Three, two, one, go. Um. Um. <laughs> no, he's just pulling away. Still won, but it was closer. Ghost immobilizer, you say? Listen, can we just do one more drag race? Don't really think about too much, okay? Just think about what you're having for tea tonight. Don't, don't, don't question anything. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> what? Ha <laughs> ha! 
that's quick. That was definitely quicker. Hello, you're not happy with your launch, are you? I'm not really worried about my launch, Matthew. Something's not right here. I mean, you, th that beats me off the line, but that destroyed me off the line and you kept up in the rolling. Talk to me. So this has like a piggyback ECU, a tuning box on it, and we unleashed 460 horsepower, so the same as that car. So was your launch actually all right? Yeah, it was, it was the same as the last one. It just doesn't allow any wheel spin. So yeah, it is what it is. But this, I mean, with that tune on it, blimey, it was quick, really quick. So then what exactly happened? Well, the M21 completing the standing quarter mile in 12 seconds. The M240i took 12.2 seconds. However, when the 240i's ECU tune was switched on, it won. Then it completed the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. All right, now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Car which stops in the shortest distance wins. Now I can't trick Sam with any tuning upgrades to the brakes because there haven't been anyway. Anyhow, here comes the line. Honestly, I haven't tuned the brakes. The brakes aren't tuned, they're just standard. I guess that's the 200 kilos, isn't it? I would have thought. Is that what I said this was heavier than you by 200 kilos? No? No, it is heavier, but not 200 kilos. I think it's, well, here it is on screen because I can't bloody remember. Anyway. If you're thinking about buying an M240i because you think they're great value for money, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below because I've got a good offer on one through CarWow. You can see exactly how much you can save. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can watch some more videos by clicking on those windows and on that box there to go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. You just pick the house offer, come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's easy. Thanks for watching.